What's good YouTube, Ben here. Welcome to the next video on the channel. Today, I'm going to give you my Steel Path viable build for Imperator Vandal. So if you want to see more content like this, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Please remember to hit that like button because it's really important for the algorithm. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell to be notified of all uploads and live streams. And don't forget to join me on my social links. Those links are in the description below. Let's get into the video. Alright, so Imperator Vandal is one of my favorite art guns. And don't get me wrong, I know it's not the most powerful, but I've finally been able to find a build that actually works on the Steel Path. Now, it's a very good minigun that you can just pop out and just use. It's very fun. Unfortunately, it's not as general as my other builds generally are because this does require one rare mod, which you'll understand when you see it. So the build itself. So we're running charged bullets for 60% electricity and 60% status chance. We're running contamination casing for 60% toxin, 60% status chance. Combustion rounds for 120% heat. We're running dual rounds for 60% multi-shot. We're running hollowed bullets for 80% critical damage. We're running critical focus for 60% critical chance and damage when aiming. We're running parallax scope for 100% critical chance. And we're running primed rubido line barrel for 187% damage. So we're running a heat and corrosion build, which is going to completely melt armor. I did toy with using heat and viral, but I found that heat and corrosion worked better generally. Um, but basically the whole point is to go in and start pew pewing everything. It has 56% critical chance with these mods on. And because it fires so many rounds, you're going to be critting way more than you think you would. But let's jump into the mission. I'll show you what we can do. All right, so we're on Oxymoko in the Void. I'm going to point out, like I do in every video, I come to Oxymoko in the Void because it's the latest point in the Steel Path you can go to. Uh, plus, it has every kind of enemy you could want. Enemies with high armor, high health, and health and shields. So it gives you more of an example of what this thing can actually do. And of course, to use this in missions, you're going to need the Arc Gun Launcher. So, assuming you've got everything you need, let's go. Now, because of critical focus, you're going to want to aim whenever you shoot with this thing. Because if you don't, it does damage, but it does more when you aim in. Because you get that bonus critical chance and the bonus damage from using critical focus. And as you can see, it's actually not that bad a weapon to use. It kind of melts everything, which is very spicy, actually. And it does carry a lot of ammo. Of course, you are going to rinse through it pretty quickly. Because uh, this thing does rinse ammo very fast. But it's definitely viable. I actually, for a while, have been meaning to do a build for this, but couldn't because at the time I didn't own Critical Focus. And Critical Focus is one of the best art gun mods you can actually have. But as you can see, it definitely shreds pretty much everything, which is very spicy. It's just nice to be able to use an art gun that isn't Morzalon. I know that Morzalon is, of course, the, uh, the quote unquote standard, the best art gun you can use. But sometimes using the best thing isn't always the best thing for you personally. You want to use whatever you like to use. I happen to like Imperator Vandal. I think it's a very, very good art gun. Um, again, it's very basic and it's one that anyone can get. You just get it from Barracketeer. So, whenever he's around and he's got it, just grab it. And it's honestly a decent weapon. Like, as you can see, it's working. But like I said, unfortunately, you are going to burn through its ammo pretty fast. So unless you're running a uh, Protea, who can actually regenerate the am ammunition for it, you might have a hard time keeping your ammo long enough. Although, running this build on something like your Necromech, for example, is perfectly fine, because the Necromech can regenerate the ammo. So, you can definitely get through at least half of the mission with this weapon. I mean, realistically, what you could do is burn through all the ammo, and then you could uh, just wait the five-minute cooldown to resummon the arc gun, because there is a cooldown, but... You could do that if you want, but I think it's pretty decent. Let me know in the comments below what you think of the build. Like, it's definitely viable for the Steel Path. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the build. If you want to see more like this, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that like button because it's really important for the algorithm. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell to be notified of all uploads and live streams. And don't forget to join me on my social links. Those links are all going to be in the description below and I will see you guys next time.